So yeah, I'm going to show this off. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 43, Movement Clarity. In today's episode, we re-entered, reflecting that we are starting to hear that song in the back of our mind, waking up. Um, we also had a chance uh, between series to go back and look at all the work done in Composing in Motion so far, all of these colors are different scales. We set out to do four scales, which we did, and we ended up working with two scales we'd worked with previously. We also made 12 videos that have music in them, so we got a, a lot of uh, work done in this series. Um, are we done with the series? We don't know. Probably not. We're kind of thinking of hybrid reach as a new theme. Um, but we are acknowledging there is a kind of a grief or resistance to completion. And in, unless you acknowledge that, you can't move on. So we feel that going through the work completed to date, A, clarified it so we can feel good about it and get some energy back from it, um, which we did. Uh, plus, it helps feed forward. So, 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 so what we did was um, we updated our... Uh, our score here, kind of final updates. We didn't change anything on Improvisation 3, but we kind of went through and finished all the energy story annotation, which, uh, as you just heard, it starts like this. For example, that is a half cadence dominant, and then it feeds into an ambivalence sequence that ends on an ambivalence. And then here, the cadences were a half cadence, and um, the, the, the terrain supported that. But several places here, we had, for example, a statens that was a tonic, a tonic. But instead, the, uh, the contrabass and the clarinet decided to take it to ambivalent. So that means the energy is a little more complex. The different layers have different energies to them. And, and that became clearer when we finished labeling it all. Another thing we talked about was how to synchronize. If we're going at, at 50 beats per minute, which we are, um, a lot of our work with rotating objects has been at 60 beats per minute. And then they kind of beat against it. Like one's going like this, and the other's going a little bit slower. And then there's kind of a, what's called a beat frequency, which we saw when we did the wooden corkscrew. So we decided to work on an animation that would um, that would uh, reflect this. So here we go. We're going to show you now as a recap of our stream, uh, our animation to date. Try to make it a little bit bigger for you. And here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this, as we said, is we synchronized those uh, oscillating figures with uh, 50 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute, and probably 25 beats per minute. So you can actually, if you watch it, you'll see that this is this little, we call it the snake animation. We also like how we kind of did a snake scene, a needle scene, a sky trail scene, and the needle plus snake. So we kind of re re reuse the scenes in, into a, a sequence telling a story. So our ideas for next time are to share the work to date at Open Mic, to um, look at working with, uh, with a new theme. We've got a poem here ready to go. Um, shout outs to Miss Cleo who stopped by, kept us going. And tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.